Hi everyone, my name's Shannon. Welcome to the Florida Fishing Academy's virtual classroom. If you tuned in last week, you probably learned about the tackle box, you learned about creating your own creature, and you learned a little bit about your environment. What we're gonna do this week is we're gonna learn about fishing regulations, knot tying, and also pollution. Today we are going to learn about knot tying. Now that you learned about all the tools in the tackle box, we're gonna learn our first fishing skill. This skill is knot tying. Tying your fishing knot and being able to attach your hook onto your fishing rod is a very important skill to learn. What we're gonna do today is I want you to find a few things in your home. Try to find a shoelace. Maybe you have a spare shoelace or you have an old pair of shoes that you can take the laces off of. If you don't have a shoelace, you can also use a different type of string or rope. I also want you to find something th that can act as your fishing hook. You could either use a key ring or a chip clip. I'm gonna be using this fish. All right, so now what I want you to do is take whatever you've chosen as your hook and your shoelace or whatever string you have, and I want you to take your string and loop it through the hole. If you're using a chip clip, you could use the hole up top or one of these other holes. And if you're using a key ring, Use this large hole. What you're going to do is you're going to take your hook and you're going to put your shoelace or your fishing line through the little hole of your hook. That's our eye hole, if you remember. Then what we're going to do is we're going to pull that string through just a little bit so that one string is still shorter than the other. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take your short string here and you're going to wrap it around your long string about three to five times or so. But not too tight because you wanna make sure that you leave a little tail here on the end. That little tail is going to then come up through the first loop you created. You'll slip that tail through this loop and then you're going to hold your tail and your hook together. Once you've done that, you're just gonna give a nice tug on your fishing line and you'll have your clinch knot. Let me show you that another way. The next way you can do this is by keeping your tail and pinching your two strings together. You can then twist your hook, again, three to five times, leaving a little tail here on the end. That little tail is then gonna come up through this loop and you're then going to, again, tug on your knot until it's secure. To get this knot untied, all you're gonna do is you're going to pull up on the string a little bit and unravel your knot. Give that a try. Now that you learned your clinch knot, I wanna teach you the next step up from the clinch knot. That is the improved clinch knot. The way that you're gonna do the improved clinch knot is very similar to that of the standard clinch knot. You're going to take your hook and your fishing line. You're gonna either decide if you want to wrap it around or twist it around. I like to twist mine. Once you twist it and you take your tail, you're gonna put it through just like you did for your regular clinch knot. But then instead of pulling on your string and tightening it now, you're gonna take that string and you're gonna loop it back through to give it some extra strength. Then you're gonna tie it. That there is your improved clinch knot. Give it a try. Now that you guys know how to tie the clinch knot and the improved clinch knot, I wanna put you guys to a challenge. We're gonna call this the hashtag FFA knot tying challenge. What I want you to do is I want you to try and tie your standard clinch knot as fast as you can. It's gonna take a lot of practice for you to get lots of speed, but the more you practice, the better you'll get. Let's see how you can do. I've practiced this many times, so see how fast I can tie mine. Done. Now that you've got your clinch knot down and your improved clinch knot down, and you've gotten the speed on track, I wanna add on another challenge for you. 
This time I want you to try and tie your clinch knot behind your back without looking, but no peeking. What we're gonna do is you're going to untie your knot and get it nice and ready for you to tie it. Then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna count down. Once I say go, you can start tying your knot. Let's see how fast you can do it. Ready? One, two, three, go! I got it! Did you?